generally felt that the tie is the symbol of the cross. Then, why do you wear the label of the Christian? That's a very good question posed by the sister. And I'm happy that such question has come so that, you know, many misconceptions are clarified. She asked the question that tie is a symbol of a cross, symbol of Christian. Then why, as I, being a Muslim, wear the tie? And I do know that many Muslims consider the tie to be a symbol of a cross. But I'm a student of comparative religion. Nowhere in any Christian scripture is it mentioned that tie is a sign of a cross. And if it is, the hadith clearly says that you cannot wear that which resembles that of an unbeliever. If it's a specific symbol of a non-Muslim, you cannot wear that label, it is haram. Nowhere will you find a single statement in any verse of the Bible where it says that tie is a sign of a cross. I am aware that many Muslims, they are against the Western culture, and I don't blame them. What I say, if you find something against, if you observe something with the Western knows wrong, you have to object to it. But what things they do good, there's no harm in agreeing with it. What things are neutral, there's no harm, not that you have to object to that also. Many Muslims are so much against the Western culture that they object on each and everything. Tai is not at all the symbol of Christianity. And this question is posed to me in various parts of the world. And I challenge and I tell the audience that if any Muslim can prove to me any time with authentic proof that tie is a sign of a cross of a Christian, I will be the first person to remove it. And I will tell all the people not to wear it. Tai is not a sign of Christianity at all. It's not a sign of a cross at all. It's a cultural dress. And researches have been done by scholars, not from hearsay, from scholars, how did it originate? Some scholars say in the cold countries, people wore a tie to tie their garments which were heavy, you know, in the cold countries, you know, woolen clothes, etc. It's a cultural dress. It's not a dress of the Christian. You go throughout the world, the Christian wear, he wears a tie, Alhamdulillah, know about it. The Muslim wears it, the Hindu wears it. It is not specifically a sign of Christianity. It's a cultural dress. And a Muslim is allowed to adopt any culture as long as it doesn't go against the Islamic Sharia. If that culture goes against the Islamic Sharia, like wearing shorts, it's the culture of the Westerners. We Muslim can't adopt it because for a man, the hijab, the aura is from the navel to the knee. He can't wear shorts. It's not allowed. Traveling in a car, the car was invented by the Christian, the Westerners. Can I say the Christian is invented, therefore I can't sit in a car? I not have an aeroplane. Can I say that? No. Whatever is against the Sharia, you should not do. Tie is not a sign of Christianity at all. This tie, people say, it looks like a cross. You open and you stretch the circle, it becomes a cross. I tell them the kurta that you wear. You put it like that, it resembles more like a cross. So you can't invent your own thinking. Oh, kurta looks like a cross, therefore stop wearing kurta. Can I tell that? Can I ever tell that? See, the prophet said, anything which is a symbol of a particular religion, don't wear those symbols. Tie is not a symbol of Christianity. It's a cultural dress. It's not a fault you should wear a tie. I'm not saying that. So don't wear, alhamdulillah, I'm with you. But when I go to the Western country, it helps deleting certain barriers. And if Islam doesn't object to that, I don't mind using it. If Islam objects to that, I should not use anything which Islam prohibits, even if it benefits me. But since this thing, alhamdulillah, is allowed in Islam, there's no problem at all if a person wears a tie. Hope that answers the question, sister.